Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check two new motors from Hobbymate slash Hobbycool. On the left side I've got the 2207-1700 kV motors. These are compatible with up to 6S LiPo batteries. And on the right side I've got the 2207-2350 kV motors. And these are compatible with up to 5S LiPo batteries. In this video I'm going to do some benchmark testings and in the next week or so I plan to feature both motors in two separate build videos. As you can see, both motors look identical and they only differ in their KV rating. Along with each motor we get in a bag with four M3 screws and one nylon nut. You can see they feature an open bottom design and they use this C-clip in order to secure the motor bell. In addition, the weight is almost identical. The weight of the 1700 KV motor is about 32.8 grams, which is basically the same weight of the 2350 KV motor. Both motors are using 20 AWG silicone wires. The length of the wires is about 15 centimeters and the length of the shaft is about 12 millimeters. So let's start the benchmark testing. The first motor that I'm going to test is the 2350 kV version. I'm going to test it with two batteries. First of all, this 4S battery from CNHL and also this 5S battery from CNHL as well. I'm going to test it with three propellers. The Cyclone T5544 propeller from Dalprop, the Gemfen 5152 flash propeller, and also this propeller from HQ. And of course, next to each test, I'm going to put the specifications of each propeller and battery that I'm using. As for ESC, I'm going to use this new 50 ampere 4-in-1 ESC from Racerstar. It can be used with up to 6S batteries, and hopefully it's not going to burn during my test. I'm going to test the 1700 kV motor. I'm going to test it with the same Gemfan 5152 flash propeller, the Dalprop Cyclone T5544. Now I'm also going to test it with this Emax 6 inch Avent propeller, which I've just got for my upgrade of the Emax Hawk 5. And finally, if everything will go well, I'm also going to test it with this Dalprop Cyclone T7056 propeller, and hopefully it's going to survive this test. So let's get on with the testing.
Okay, so I'm not sure if you were able to see it, but on my last test on the CXS with the Evan propeller, the smoke came out from the motor, so I don't want to push it. So I'm only going to perform the seven inch propeller test with a forest battery, and hopefully it's going to survive it, because otherwise I won't be able to picture it on a build video. So I think that just testing it with a forest battery should do for the seven inch propeller. So I'm actually going to stop this test as well. I think it's not going to do well. And I'm just going to test with the seven inch propellers when I'm going to fly it outdoors. The noise was too much. Let's see if I can see the data. No, it didn't store it. But as I mentioned, I'm just going to test it outdoors. So we'll settle for that. So before going over the results, I would like to go over some calculations that might explain some things. So first of all, what is KV? KV stands for the constant that is going to help us to calculate the RPM, which stands for revolutions per minute of the motor by providing one volt to the motor, which means a 1700 KV motor, if you're going to provide it with one volt, is going to spin for 1700 times with no load. And it's important because if you're going to attach a propeller, this number is going to be significantly lower. And if you're going to use a forest battery, it means that a 1700 kV motor multiplied by 16.8 is going to rotate for 28,560 times per minute. This is a crazy number. And if we divide it by 60 to get the number of times per second, we're going to get to 476 again with no load. So basically, if we would like to achieve the same number of revolutions per minute with a 1700 kV motor as a 350 kV motor, the ratio between these numbers is 0 0.72. And if we divide 1 to 0 0.72, we're going to get to 1.4. So basically, if we would like to achieve the same thrust using 2350 kV motor on a 1700 kV motor, we will need to use a 5.6S LiPo battery, and we're going to get the same thrust. So 6S LiPo battery should provide us with a little bit more thrust of a 4S. When I'm going to show the results, you're going to see that this is not the case, and this is just on paper, and actually the thrust that I got with the 2350 kV motor was a little bit higher than the 1700 kV motor using 4S and using 6S respectively. In addition, by using this equation that P equals to U multiplied by I, we can imply that using a 1500 mAh 4S battery equals to using 1000 mAh 6S battery. So I hope this explanation was clear enough. If not, feel free to ask any question about it in the comment section down below. The next thing I'm going to do is to share the results and I'm also going to link to it in the description box down below. I was really impressed with the Dalprop T5544 propeller and I'm really looking forward to see how it's going to perform when I'm going to use the 2350 kV motor on this Kuhn H5 frame. I reviewed it a long time ago and I think it's time to build it. This is going to be a very lightweight build and this propeller provided lots of thrust so it's going to be very interesting to see how it's going to perform on a 4S or maybe even a 5S battery. As always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know and I'll see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye.